Stop wasting your time and your money dreaming up meal plans and spending money on groceries just to end up watching those groceries rot and ending up in the drive-thru again. We're gonna talk about how not to do that today. All right, in my last two videos, we talked about a couple of problems people often have with meal planning. Today, we're gonna to talk about a third big problem, which is that people will make a meal plan and then not stick to it. And that is super common. I mean, I've done that myself and I kind of consider myself a meal planning expert at this point, um, but things happen. And those times when I have had trouble sticking to my meal plan, or I've had consistent days where I don't have the time, to make whatever I have on my meal plan, there's been a couple of themes. So that's what we're gonna talk about. And then we're gonna talk about what you can do differently. So you stop wasting all that time and money. Main reason people cannot stick to the meals they planned, cannot execute the dinners they have on their list, is because they simply made it too complicated. So you probably have a busy life, like most of us, right? You probably have kids, you're probably juggling a job or all these responsibilities and you feel like you have to make homemade meals for your family each night. And that's just not true. I love to use what I call shortcut ingredients. So a shortcut ingredient is something pre-made at the store that I can buy to save myself time. It may be something pre-chopped, it may be a pre-made sauce. There's lots of options and I love to use those things on the busiest weeknights or honestly on weeknights in general, not even the busier nights, just to save me some time and sanity on those busy nights. So your meal plan does not have to be complicated. I talked about this in each of my previous videos. You can meal plan frozen pizza. You can meal plan going to Chick-fil-A drive-thru. You can add that to your plan. You can plan those things, it is okay. I'm gonna say it again. You can meal plan nights out frozen dinners, sandwiches, cereal, whatever you want. You do not have to only meal plan recipes made from scratch. Okay, <laughs> I may or may not have drilled that into your head enough now. It's in the third out of three videos, okay? Do not make it complicated. Make it as complicated or as simple as you need to be each week. Which brings me to the second problem. Each week, you likely have a slightly different schedule, a slightly different calendar, a slightly different agenda for your evenings. And when you make a meal plan of recipes you need to make from scratch, and then your son has t-ball, your daughter has ballet, or your daughter has t-ball and your son has ballet, and you gotta run the, them all around the world to all of these things, and then you get home and you realize, hmm, I have some chicken in the fridge, and I have to chop it, and then I have to bread it, and then I have to cook it, and then I have to make the side, and I have to make the sauce. That's not happening. And that's the last thing on your meal plan, or maybe the other meals on your meal plan are just as complicated. It's not gonna happen. And that's okay, it's totally understandable, but you need to factor those in. One of my biggest meal planning tips is to look at your calendar before you plan a single meal, okay? So in the last video, I talked about how I have a really late evening on Tuesdays. I get home late, I work farther away from home, that one day a week I work at a different location. Those days I know I need a crock pot meal or something my husband can quickly throw together. And my husband is not a very good cook. God bless him, but that's not one of his skills. <laughs> so I plan super easy dinners or crock pot dinners he can throw together or something I can quickly prep the day before. Mondays I'm off, so Monday is my holiday. Holiday, Monday is my weekend day. <laughs> and I'll prep things that day to make it easier for him to throw something together. I plan for that night every week, okay? And sometimes something else may come up. Sometimes you may know you have just a lot of extra stress or maybe the week your kids get a school for Christmas and they've got like four holiday parties, it's football playoffs, your class mom and have to bring God knows what, they require so many things of those class moms, right? <laughs> plan super easy dinners. If you go buy some deli meat and sliced cheese and fancy sandwich bread and call it dinner, okay. Again, back to my last point, doesn't have to be complicated. Does not have to be from scratch. So look at your calendar, look at all the things on your plate. Honestly, check your energy levels and your mood that week if you are doing week to week meal planning and plan accordingly. So watch my previous video 
to figure out which meal planning method works best for you if you are doing the pre-made meal plan rotation this might be a little more difficult to move things around but shameless plug again i sell pre-made meal plans in my etsy shop etsy.com slash shop slash live cheap and travel off no slash live cheap travel often no and um, in those weekly meal plans i created i have rotating ones and i have week by week ones in each of them i have like a crock pot meal or a super easy meal each week because i know that's how people's lives are you have at least one probably more than one at least one crazy busy night each week everybody needs an easy dinner at least one night a week probably more than one look at your calendar factor those things in the third reason you may have a meal planned that you did not execute that you didn't actually end up cooking is because you may have forgot to buy an ingredient or something happened something came up you never made that meal never made that meal never made that meal and something went bad something rotted away in the back of the refrigerator like things often do and i said this in a previous video but food prices are so astronomically high right now that food waste is the worst nobody wants that seriously the worst <laughs> buying something and not using it the worst so there's two main two <laughs> main ways to combat this problem one you do have to sit down and focus when you make your meal plan you do have to set aside a little bit of time it doesn't have to be lengthy subscribe to my videos follow me on instagram at live cheap and travel often for all of my tips for quickly making meal plans my next video we're going to talk about one of the best ways to quickly fill in a meal plan and it's going to help with not letting uh things not end up on your grocery list, which is what I'm attempting to say right now is what happens. So when you meal plan, maybe you're quickly doing it, you're rushed, kids are running around like crazy, or you're about to go to the grocery store in 20 minutes and you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm actually going to buy. <laughs> you miss putting something on your grocery list or your grocery list is like chaotic and you don't buy something that you need for a recipe. And you go to make that recipe and you're like, it's real hard to make chicken alfredo without chicken or pasta. <laughs> Don't let that happen. There, you do have to put in a little bit of time and effort to make an organized meal plan to make sure that everything you need gets onto your grocery list or onto your grocery order. That's an amazing thing we can do nowadays, right? Make sure everything gets on there. I feel like I forget things on my grocery order more than I do when I go grocery shopping myself. I don't know what it is. I don't know but I feel like I forget to tell people shopping for me to buy something more than I forget to buy it myself. I don't know what it is. I guess maybe I remember what I'm making while I'm in the store, but honestly, I feel like I don't. <laughs> Side, no, I actually do. So I not only take my grocery list, but, and again, I'll, I'll show this in later vid videos, but I make my list of meals and the side dishes I'm serving with them, which I'm gonna talk about later also in later videos. I keep my side dishes super simple um, but I write that all out on one paper and then I make a grocery list on a different piece of paper, but I take a picture of that meal plan and take it with me to the grocery store. So if I forget to note how much chicken I need to buy, how many pounds of ground beef I need to buy, I can quickly look at that and say, oh, in the next two weeks, I'm making three dinners with chicken breast. I need to buy six pounds of chicken breast, whatever. So that is a very simple, easy way to do that. Um, but organized meal plan, set aside a little bit of time where you can truly focus on making your grocery list so you don't forget anything. And then the issue of food spoiling and rotting away in the back of the refrigerator. I mentioned this in my first video as well. You should order your meal plan or denote somewhere on the list of meals that you're planning to make, which ones have ingredients that are going to spoil the fastest. So I, Again, you don't have to have a super rigid meal plan where you say, Monday I'm making this, Tuesday I'm making this, Wednesday I'm making this. You don't have to do that. It doesn't have to be that boring, but you should keep in the back of your mind, have noted on your meal plan paper, whatever it may be, which meals have ingredients that will spoil quickly. And then make sure that you cook those recipes sooner rather than later. And then I also recommend having two to three meals if you're meal planning for one week or like a whole five to seven meals if you're planning for two 
meals that are shelf stable or freezer. I got cut off and I'm not sure where I was talking so sorry if the edit on this is really bad. Uh, I was saying I recommend having like half your meal plan even if it's a one week meal plan be shelf stable or freezer stable that's probably not the right terminology shelf stable or freezer frozen frozen ingredients that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> so you know that those ingredients aren't gonna go bad so I meal plan for two weeks week one I make sure I cook all of the fresh ingredients if I am making something with lettuce with tomatoes with cilantro with fresh zucchini whatever it may be I cook that all in week one if I have meals with canned goods, jarred pasta sauces, frozen vegetables, which I cook all the time because they're easy and they don't go bad. Those are in week two. And again, they don't have to be specific Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's week one dinners, week two dinners. And when I make up my meal plan, I just list my ideas. I don't put them in specific days, but I'll go put a little star on anything that has fresh ingredients. And that's my week one meals. Again, we're keeping this simple. We're saving time, money, and sanity, all right? So the tagline of my channel and all my things is helping you save money where you can so you can spend money where you want, but also I want to save you time, money, and sanity in the kitchen when it comes to making dinner. Right. I hope that I have covered whatever your meal planning issue is. If you have trouble making a meal plan, coming up with dinner ideas, coming up with dinner ideas, sticking to your meal plan, and I haven't covered an issue you have, please let me know. Please leave me a comment here, DM me on Instagram, let me know what your meal planning issue is, and I will see if I can come up with a solution for you if I already have one. In my next videos, we will be talking about other things like super easy dinners, how to come up with dinner ideas. I know that's a major one. We're going to get to that. Don't worry. That's probably the second one. People say it's boring. It's rigid. That's why I don't meal plan. And I think I have covered that plenty in these past few videos. So now we're going to talk about easily filling in your meal plan, easily answering the dreaded question, what's for dinner, mom? Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when those videos are up.